So in this week, um, this week's lecture, I said that we had to make a logo. And what I'm trying to do is make sure we do this as simple as possible and as quickly as possible for those that may not have Adobe Photoshop experience or something like that. We're going to build this inside of um, Microsoft Publisher. So we're going to open up a blank template. And then what we're going to do is, let's say we're going to start a record label, right? So I'm going to go and Google record because the first thing I think of is a record. Now, what I want are pictures that I can use without getting in trouble. And I also want those to be transparent images. Now, PNG is the tag for when you're using a transparent image. So I'm going to go to images and I'm going to look through these and I see a couple that I kind of like. Now, this is vinyl disc clip up at Selker, C L K E R dot com. Um, is it copywritten? I'm not sure, but I'm going to pull this for the moment and I'm going to save the image to my BBZ folder. And now I'm going to close this out. So now that I've done this and it's saved, I should be able to find it in my BBZ folder. It's right there. And I'm dragging it into Publisher. Now I know that this is transparent. I can drag it and make it bigger. It's not going to be distorted. And what I'll do is I'm going to go to Word Art. So let's see, insert Word Art and let's name it CBP. And I'll use a different font that maybe that looks kind of cool. Let's just play around with that. CBP. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to drag it over by itself. And what I'm going to do here, because what I like about logos, um, you'll notice that a logo isn't really overstated. It's very simple. And um, it, there's not a whole lot going on with it. I'm going to fill this with black. Um, I'm also going to take away the outline. No outline. And I'm going to take away the shadow. No shadow effect. So it's just clean now. All right, so I have my CBP. Now I'm going to copy this because I want to keep the fonts the same. And I am going to change the words here to music. Now what we're doing is we're not doing something that's real, really complex or difficult, but what we're doing is playing around with the shape of it so we can use it on our label. All right, so we're going to make this smaller and we're going to put it on our label. And then we're going to turn it into a picture. Now, the cool thing about using Publisher is that it allows us to stay kind of right in the center where we need to be. Now, we just drag that down to the bottom. Now, we have to make this one smaller as well. All right, we have to keep it in proportion. But we know we have our CBP music and it's nothing fancy but it's very clean it's very simple and more important it's tr it's transparent so I'm now going to take this picture and you notice what I just did I just made a big kind of a drug and I made this group and I can't group it but I'm not grouping it right now what I'm doing is just making sure I have everything in the picture that I want to save now, what I forgot to do, though, is to insert a shape. And what I'm doing now is trying to make sure this shape allows me to make a logo that's even. So I'm going to go 8 by 8, 8 inches. Okay, so now... I know that I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I, I have a shape that is together and I can now select all objects. Make sure I don't have a border because I don't want the border on this shape. So shape outline, no outline. And now I'm going to select all objects. Sorry about that. And I'm going to right click on these and I'm going to save as picture. 
Now I want to save this inside of my BBZ folder and I'm going to save it as CBP logo. Now I'll come down here and change this 300 DPI because now if I want to send it off to a commercial printing press or make it a t-shirt or something else then I can. And once I do that I click save. And this is what we'll see that we have. Um, as a matter of fact, let me save this inside of C inside of BBZ as well. And I'll just call this my CBP logo music. And I'm going to save it because I want to keep this for later. I may decide to change that because uh, obviously it's not the best logo in the world, but it is a logo. It's something that I can use and I can put on a website and do different things with. Now, if you see right here, it's saved. I open it up. I can auto correct it. Um, I can change the size. So like if I had to put it in a website and I needed to make it 512 by 512, it automatically adjusts to a different size. So I can save this as a small CBP logo, small. And I have CBP music. I can go and stick this on a t-shirt. I can do pretty much anything that I want. Now, obviously, you can pick whatever logo you want, or you can pick anything that you want to make this, uh, make your own logo, but you don't even have to use. Let's save. And now that's small. I shouldn't have done that because I can't go back and make it bigger. It's going to get distorted. But what I wanted to show you is that this is not a very difficult process, creating your own logo. You can even just take the words and if you don't want to use a record or anything like that, you can take the words and then you can make these bigger. Stretch those out, right? And bring this and put it here and make this a little bit bigger. I don't want it to look oblong and weird, but I can do that. And then I can come back in and go to my shapes and find a rounded image there and I can make it four a four right now I know it's even I can make this line bolder I can let's see shape outline we're going to go with weight I can make that thicker and then I can do what I can add that big blank triangle around it and it becomes a logo now I could put another smaller logo inside of this or I could change the border a little bit more by making it a double line dashes patterns weight you know there's a lot of different things that I can do with it but I could let's copy this and paste it and then let's make it three by three and I'm about to run out of time so I'm going to wrap this up now I can do this to it and it gives it a little bit of a, a funkier look to it but there's a lot that I can do to play around and come up with a logo and I don't have to pay somebody to do these different things you can do it yourself it's not a difficult process Obviously, these are not the best examples, but this is on the fly. I'm just doing it, trying to show you how simple the process is. Hopefully, this helped you a little bit. And if you have any questions, leave the questions for me. And, of course, I'll respond. Peace.